these choices are made for you, I believe. I, I don't. I, I'm on, it's not. It's not a. It's not a plan. I'm not. Not planning on writing on. Uh, on writing about uh, adolescence, but. Um, well, since it all started off, I had told. I told uh, Henry and Diane and um, Sophia yesterday, yesterday evening um, that. It all started off with a name, and the name was Joe Speedboat, and this was an anecdote which I remembered from, from, uh, from when I was uh, in university, and it was about somebody who changed his name into Joe Speedboat, he was a factual, he was an existing person, um, and I sort of forgot about the anecdote until I was searching for a new novel to write, and suddenly this, this, this atom popped up, this, 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 this atomary name. Joe Speedboat, and I start to think, and, and you cannot write a, a, a novel, uh, anyway I couldn't, a uh, novel about Joe Speedboat who was a man of 53 years old, that would be ridiculous, <laughs> so he had to be young, and um, uh, so um, that's how it came about, I mean, these are not very, very rational choices, you make. Uh, but then again, it was easy for me to, uh, to connect with uh, I mean, I think it's, it's quite a strong, disgruntled, young voice in the book, and uh, that was it was so easy for me to, to write that, that suspicion rose that it might have more to do with me than I actually <laughs> wanted, because I wanted to write fiction, but uh, it's, it's very dear to me. There are a few topics uh, which are, of course, taboo. Uh, for instance, uh, there's this is uh, what's his name again? I forgot his name, but he wrote about he wrote from the perspective of an SS officer. Was this his famous book by Jonathan Littleman? Um, I mean, getting into a character like that is, of course, a whole different project than getting into to, to the mind of a disturbed young boy, or very interesting, although it may be the last taboo in the, world, in, the, in the free world, child abuse. That would be interesting. I mean, how far do you, do you let yourself go with that? Mm -hmm. Imagine the idea that you get a hard on because of writing of child abuse. I mean, that's confronting. So, these are, uh, it, it is, of course, it is a very good question. Similar, similar to uh, to your book, I suppose. But um, yeah, well, I mean, good. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. That's good. And um, but but funny thing happened that um, well, my last um, it was actually my fourth novel, and uh, with the three previous novel uh, novels, I knew every reader. <laughs> 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 it's good to know your audience, though. It's good. Especially funny. Yeah, oh yeah. Great people. <laughs> so that's, that's, yeah. yeah. Richard Yates, uh, I forgot the title, but um, it's a very good book uh, about a coast. Um, uh, Harbour. But uh, I'm a great admirer of Richard Yates, and I'm reading. Uh, but I'm reading that for for uh, ever since. I mean, uh, since I discovered it, uh, Emile Cioran, who is the darkest and funniest uh, philosopher you can you could possibly find. I mean, he has all the depth of Friedrich Nietzsche, but has humor with it. And so that's 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 a great reading. What's his name? In the Zoo. All the animals are keeping the, are, are being quiet except the monkeys. You can feel mankind is not far away. <laughs> <laughs> Emile Cioran, C I O R A N, and he was a, he was also one of these these uh, exceptional writers who started off writing in a different language and suddenly mm. he, he went from Romanian to French and actually became a master in it, just like Joseph Conrad went from Polish. 